Hi friends, in this video, let's talk about custom visuals in the Power BI. So there are many custom visuals in the Power BI, out of which we will talk about countdown timer. First of all, what is a custom visuals? If you see the toolbox in the Power BI visualization window, so there are a couple of default tools which you can see directly in the Power BI visualizations window. See, these are the list of tools which you have in the uh, by default uh, Power BI window. So out of which, so you can develop dashboards by using a couple of uh, chart controls, by using pie controls, by using scatter controls, and by using some uh, map and area related stuff, and you have some slicers and KPI. So apart from this, so Microsoft used to provide some custom controls, so which will help us to improve the readability of the visualization, readability of the page by adding those controls to your toolbox. So where to find those controls? So what is the advantage apart from these controls? See that gives you a rich look. Some of the controls will give you the rich look of, of, of the page. And where can I find those? See if you have a Power BI account, subscription account, so you can find those tools in the marketplace. So this is a place where you can find the a list of custom visuals. So let's click on the custom from marketplace. So to click on this button, you need to have a subscription account. So how to create a subscription? So that will cover in a separate video, but let us assume you already have a subscription. So once you have a subscription, subscription, so let's click on this from marketplace. So once you click on this from marketplace, you will get a pop-up window which shows you the list of available custom visuals. So let us see now, you can see this. So these are the list of available custom visuals. So which are uh, separated based on the category. So out of which you can select what are all the uh, visual you can select it. If you see here editor picks, so these are the list of uh, uh, editor picks from the marketplace. These are the list of filters. So these are the list of KPIs. If you see, there are many models are there. So there are maps as well here. You can see the maps related. So these are the advanced analytics related. So you have many custom visuals. So let's not talk about all. Let's come to our custom visuals count time timer. So that will be there in the timer category, time category. So let's select that. Once you click on it, you will get there list of time related um, custom visuals so out of this like as i told you let's add the custom visual as count time timer so there is a custom visual with the name of count down timer you can see this so this is the custom visual i am planning to add to my visualization page to improve the readability to improve the some um, rich look so let's click on add so once you select that, once you finalize to add this particular custom visualization, you simply need to click on add. So once you click on add, so this visualization come and sit into your um, so visualization toolbox. Let me click on add. So once I click on add, you can see here. So this is my, yeah, you can see import custom visual. The visual was successfully imported into this report. Let's click on OK. Now see this. So this is a visualization has been added to my visualizations window. So here I am showing you a basic visualization for only countdown timer. So for that visualization, I don't need any fields. I don't need any data. So how I am showing is first I need to create an example. So there is a big e-commerce site. So there is a big e-commerce site. So in that particular e-commerce site online site. So there is a sale is going to start in a particular time. Let us say the sale is going to start on a particular time as a uh, like a 6th of uh, uh, what I say a uh, June 6th June 6th June 2018 so there is a sale start on 6th June 2018 on particular uh, 12 a.m. or like a, uh, 7 a.m. okay so I want to show in how many years that day is going to come in how many months in how many days in how many minutes in how many seconds that particular day and that particular time is going to reach so that time I am going to show in the my visualization page. So in a particular place, either this corner 
or this corner or this corner or in this corner or in the center of the page so that whenever they open a page so they'll say they'll see that particular and they'll identify that there is a big sale is going to start on this particular date and the remaining dates i can show it to them and how to design that is let's come to the designing part so now let's uh, drag and drop this um, countdown timer so it will come like this let's make it a little bigger so by default it will show you the zero days zero hours zero minutes zero seconds then how to set so as i told you our e-commerce uh, sale is going to start on 6th june 2018 2018 so once i set up that so i can see the how many days is there from today i can see that so let me select that let's select this particular one and click on uh, I, I can see that countdown properties and let us see so the day is 6th june and the month is 6 and the year is 2018 so once i select that you can see now how many days are there now from today i have 30 days 13 hours 44 minutes and 56 seconds if you see this what is the time the default time is 12 minutes is 0 seconds is 0 so if you want to add some some more styles to this so let me add some text here so let's come expand the title section here you can add the text so big sale starts big sale big e-commerce sale or big uh, electronic sale So big electronic sale is going to start in this and let me increase the font size so eight some big electronic sales let me make it electronic sales and let me change the color font color to uh, some a friendly color i can make it as a background color to some little light uh, gray related you can see that font color let me change it to some red color or something not that red is not that much good let me black yeah so i can make it as bold or I, whatever i want and let's come to the uh, time related and title is and if you want to see the background you can set the background color on top of it make it is on so you can you can change white color to some different color you can see that and transparent and all you can increase that you can see this so there are many other properties you can see that so if you want border you can set it as so border color is this you can add some different color like this and apart from that you have many other properties you can do that whatever you want so let me decrease the size of it If you see this yeah so apart from this you can set many other properties text properties so timer color so you can change that color to some this color that does not look good you can add whatever the color you want so you can add custom color once you click on it you can you can select that so that color came as a white let's change that to some black color only let's keep it and the text color there is a text in the down you can change that color to some different color with this so you can change the tight uh, time size even to 30 and this uh, size even to some same size or some 25 you can add uh, you can change the uh, some 25 not 85 80 let's keep the same 80 okay this is how you can set the properties and you can keep this is in some uh, some right top, top right side or top left side top bottom left top bottom right and in the middle so whenever the particular uh, user come and see this particular page you can he can understand that so big electronic sale is going to start in 30 days 13 hours 41 minutes and 36 uh, 33 32 seconds so whenever we reach the particular uh, uh, time it shows the zero days zero hours zero minutes and zero seconds that is how we are going to uh, use the custom visuals in the power bi pages so in this video hopefully you understand that how to add a custom visuals not only in the countdown timer you can add many 
uh, other custom visuals like how we did for this particular example that's it so thank you for watching if you have any questions please write a mail to the training to sql at the rate gmail.com thank you for watching please subscribe for more technical videos that's it we have